Hello there and welcome to the new data studio tutorial where I will show you the live connection of data and the extract option. Well, live connection is something you have been seeing so far. So whenever you want to add any data or previously we have added the data sources like for the sample superstore or the admission prediction. These are all the examples of the live data with which if something is changing based on then the schedule that is present. For example, if I just click over here and uh, not here, but probably what I'll do is to show this, I'll just create one simple chart. It will have the, let's say the sample superstore over here. And in this sample superstore, if you see the data refresh freshness is 15 minutes. That means the extract is on, sorry, the live connection is on through which you can, uh, your data will be refreshed. But there are situations where many times you want to extract the data. For example, if you are part of a specific department and you have a specific needs, let's say the shipping department, uh, then you may just want to look at the shipping data, but probably not the sales data or the profit data because that's mostly like the function for sales or finance. So to do that, what you do is uh, create an extract. So to do that, what I'll do is click on add data. And over here, if I go down, you have the option of extract data. Once you click on extract data, you need to choose from which file you want to extract. So let's say we want sample superstore. In this sample superstore, we have like uh, option of adding a dimension. So let's say I want order date to basically understand when the order has come. Maybe the order priority because it impacts the shipping mode. Uh, down there, shipping date. So order date uh, minus shipping date will give you an idea about how many days it takes to update the uh, uh, or ship the orders. After that, you can add more dimension, which is specific to your need. Let's say the shipping mode. And as a metric, you can add a metric, which is uh, shipping cost. Down there, you can add a date range. Let's say you want to have only for a specific date range or last seven days. You have always have the option that based on which uh, field, so if there are two fields which is related to date, you can choose that and specify the date. So for now, I'm not specifying any date, but I also have the option of adding a filter. So if I click on add a filter, and uh, I want to say include the, let's say the product category. And I only want equals to, I only want the technology. So I'll select the technology, press the tab. I have the option of saving it. So I can say over here, product technology, the filter name and click on save. So claim to report is broken. Let's save it again. All right, so now it has been saved and if I click on save and extract, it will do some processing and then it will going to save the data for me. It's in a form of extract. So as you can see, if whenever I am in a specific department or you are part of a specific department, you probably don't need entire thing from the data warehouse, but just some specific rows, which is then available as part of the extract. And you can basically, uh, have it uh, as part of your report, which will result into the faster output of your data and uh, charts and the filters based on the analysis that you are doing. So once it is done, you can click on close and you have the option over here to change the data source to something which you have created. So it's the extract data that we have created. So we have chosen the extract and we have the order date, priority, ship date, ship mode and shipping cost. So this information is now available. I can click on add a chart. Let's say a table. I will just produce that in the extract data. I can choose the, let's say the ship order date. Maybe uh, order date is already selected. Um, I can have, uh, so order date is basically date range, but order priority selected. I can select maybe the ship mode and drop it on the dimension and then the shipping cost is present over there. Okay. So data studio cannot connect C details. 
all right so maybe sometimes you need to refresh it so for that what i'll do is i will just go back and uh, again i will start my untitled report put this uh into an edit mode delete this and i create one more chart so whenever issue is coming probably we need to refresh the data so by default it has come admission prediction but what we need is the extract data so i've selected extract data from there and then we have order priority shipping cost so order priority is here i can add one more dimension let's say the shipping mode and now it is coming properly earlier it gave an error so we just refreshed by going back and coming back here so this way uh, if you will compare with your normal data which has millions of rows and uh, maybe hundreds of columns the output of this will be comparatively very very fast because you are just looking at the specific set of data and uh, and basically your uh, aggregated and filtered data then you also uh, come back here on the add data click on the my data sources and maybe just select that to if you want to add it into a different report you can add it from here also um, once you have it part of this you always have the added data source option in the added data source it shows you the columns that you have selected from the main data source go back to the added connection and then if you need to make any changes you can always make the changes so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can make the changes so that you are able to um, make or get a relevant output based on your future needs once you are done click on done now uh, another thing which i want to show you is renaming it extract data so what you can do is come over here in data studio.google.com and uh, you have data sources option down there this is the extract data that is being created so if i come over here and click on rename i can always rename like uh, shipping data and uh, click on rename or i can say shipping extract so again i can rename shipping data sorry shipping data extract and rename it so that it is much more relevant than the extract data over here so whenever now you will create a new report or refresh this report you will going to get the rename data sets uh, rename data extract which is much more makes sense okay so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic